What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush. Let's talk Jets following an epic collapse. This is like reminiscent of a same old Jets kind of loss, in my opinion. I know it's going to come off ridiculously negative. I'm pissed off, man. I I'm, I'm just fed up. I'm annoyed. Like, you want to have meaningful games in December, and this team is melting. They went from 6-3 and three to 7-7, seven and seven, and you lost a game to the Lions that you should not have lost. And every facet of the team contributed to it. But some of the coaching, man, is just like, you've got to be kidding me. And then they hear Salah talk in the press conference like, oh, good for them. Good for them. Like, how about this? I know you're a positive vibes only dude and all this stuff and you want to give everybody else credit. How about you own your shit sometimes and act actually pissed off and say, man, we really blew it. We left stuff on the field. We got to be much better than this. Hold everybody accountable. So I'm going to probably be all over the place this video because I want to get the fuck off of this and just go enjoy the rest of my Sunday because this is another one of these seasons now, apparently. So obviously the big story before the game was, you know, Quinn and Williams was out. LaMarcus Joyner was out. Corey Davis is out. You're like, all right, well, that's obviously going to be an issue. So you look at the offense, the quarterback, you saw some good, you saw some bad, you saw some of the same old Zach as well. The interception was terrible. The intentional grounding was bad. He was sacked four times. And he still cannot complete. Like, let's just call it what it is. The Mike White passing game looks more efficient. The offense with Zach doesn't look fluid. The one thing I don't understand with Mike LaFleur is why they don't roll him out. When, they roll, when Zach rolled out to the right, he made a nice play. Rolled out to the left, made a nice play. Use his legs. He had the run pass option. He actually ran one time. Use his, his versatility, his, the way his, his mobility as a strength. You keep him in the pocket, he doesn't look comfortable, and he cannot complete the easy passes consistently. Yes, he made a money throw in late in the fourth quarter to get them in field position. You know, he threw like a, you know, a, 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 got a prayer caught by Michael Carter. Garrett Wilson bailed him out, but he made some big throws to get them in position, but he doesn't do enough consistently. So that's the thing. You see some good, you see some bad, and it's just, it's just not enough. The passing offense is just not good enough with Zach, and it has to get better because he's playing Thursday night. The running backs, Zonovan Knight, you know, he got hurt. He came back. Michael Carter, like I said, he had that big catch. But the running game wasn't getting going. The offensive line, like George Fant was getting, he was having a tough day. And the thing with the offensive line is this is actually five veteran guys. It's not like you have young guys trying to find your way. This is like a young, like a, a veteran offensive line that's struggling. But again, use the versatility of Zach to get him out of the pocket and move him around a little bit. The wide receivers, you know, barriers for another big drop. He had a nice catch towards the end, but another big drop. I don't understand why they keep trying to feature him. Feature Elijah Moore. Feature Garrett Wilson. Jeff Smith made big contributions before he got hurt. Get him going. And if they're not giving you the plays, go to the tight ends. So Uzama had the two, he had the one great touchdown catch. He added a second. Conklin had the rushing play, had another big catch. But it's like the offense just, the floor play calling just doesn't make sense. It doesn't look easy. Then when the offensive line struggles, it's just like, it's just. So then you go to the defensive side of the ball, where for a good portion of the game, they only gave up six points. This is a high-flying Lions offense, and they were, they're holding their own. You're doing some good things. The Jets take the lead. The you know, defense is holding their own. Then on fourth and one, they completely blow an assignment, and they give up a 51-yard touchdown. Like, usually, we, we give given this team credit for being a fourth-quarter team. Like, they, they close games out. They have the pass rush. You know, I understand Quinn was out, but you you have Bryce Huff, you have Carl Lawson, you have Rankins. They have a lot of high-priced players on defense that are supposed to get stops and get off the field. They didn't do it. 51-yard play where there wasn't a guy within 25 yards of the receiver. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And Salah, instead of owning all the bone assignments, said good for them. Drives me crazy. Special teams, you know, Braden Mann is so inconsistent. I don't understand why he never angles his punts. He shanked a couple, and it's just, I, I don't understand that. Berrios, as a returner, has become ridiculously inconsistent. He went from being an all-pro to a guy that you just wanted to catch the ball cleanly and try to move forward. And on kickoffs, get back to the 25, which is a lot to ask. But again, you go, you give up a punt return touchdown, that's another big one. Second time that's happened, it sets you back. Like the first, the first quarter of the game, the Jets almost came out flat, which is wild because this is a game where you need it, like a... Home game must win. December has all the feel. Fire up crowd came out, but just didn't do it. Then he gets to the fourth quarter and the time management. Now, you have the offense scores. You get the touchdown. Great. The defense blows it. So now you're trying to come back. So we, the Jets have a time management guy. They have all these analytics people on staff. 
Zach completes a pass to Garrett Wilson with like 53 seconds left. They don't call timeout. Now, keep in mind, the, the completed pass didn't even get him in the field goal range yet. You're not even in field goal range. And they waste like 25 seconds. They don't call timeout. So now you're down to like, what, 28 seconds or some nonsense, and you're still not in field goal range. So now you're, you're rushing, you're pressuring, then you get sacked. Like, if those 20 seconds are valuable when you have three timeouts. It's like I, the time management was atrocious. Like, it was like this team, each part of the team found a way to collectively lose this game. And it was, it was awful. It's a disgrace. It's pathetic. Like, this is, you want, you expect better, you want to see better, and it's just, I mean, this loss, this is the same old Jets loss, man. You're like, you've got to be kidding me. You know, then you have Zach Wilson throws up a prayer to catch the ball for the, the, the long field goal, the 58-yard field goal by Zerline. He misses it. Man. So, I don't know. I usually give you more details, like my notes. I don't even, I don't even want to read my notes. I don't want to give, I don't, I'm so annoyed because you go from 6-3 and three to 7-7. Seven seven. Like, that is, like, when, you, when you're at 6-3, and three, your expectations change. Yo, this is, a, this, is a very, this is a playoff caliber team, top five defense, all these things. And they have, they have fallen apart. They're finding ways to lose games, not win games. All the could-haves and should-haves, they don't mean shit. They don't mean anything. Because at the end of the day, you're 7-7. Seven and seven. You're falling apart down the stretch. So now the whole thing is the whole, you know, Zach Wilson, Mike White. Listen, man, Zach, Zach did, like I said, he threw for over 300 yards, great. It comes down to scoring points and making big plays in the clutch. He tried, but he's just not consistent enough, and the offense does not flow well with him. Now, he's got another chance on Thursday night. Can he salvage it? Whatever it is. But now it's like you're getting to the point now where you're, going, you're, entering, you're ending the season on a, a bad note. you got to hope they, they run the table and win 10 games, which you don't feel a lot of confidence with that. And you'll be like, you know what? I don't know what we're going to do at quarterback. I genuinely don't know. You want to bring back Mike White, have an open competition? Go for it. You want to go try to get a Derek Carr? Cool. Because you don't have a sense of confidence that Zach's going to be your guy. And that's the thing you got to know. So now it's like you're going to have this whole divide, all these arguments. Listen, man, it's just not good enough. You're expecting more. And what you're expecting is, look at what Trevor Lawrence is playing like. You want to start seeing that. You're not seeing it. So whatever. That's it. Terrible loss. That's it. I don't know.